The first case is a testicular mass from a 70-year-old man with retroperitoneal lymphadenopathy. This, of course, is the gross appearance of the testicular mass. Here you can see an H and E section of the testis. What is your diagnosis? The age of the patient should give you a bit of a clue as to what this is likely to be. Case number two is a man of 43 with a testicular mass. The tumour has a rather nodular appearance. Histologically, the tumour has some acellular areas. On a higher power, you can see that this tumour contains cells of three different sizes. The other thing you'll notice are lots of mitotic figures. The tumour looks frankly evil. And those clues should help you come up with the correct diagnosis. Given how nasty this tumour looks, how do you think it's going to behave? Case number three is a male of 10 months with an impalpable right testis. This is a section of the mass deferens. And this is a section of the, in inverted commas, testis. Note the hemosiderin deposition and foci of calcification. This will help you come up with the correct diagnosis. Case number four is a testicular lesion from a male of 10 with an acutely painful testis. This is another example of the same condition. What is this structure and what has happened to it? And why does it tend to happen to these structures? Case number five is a testicular mass from an 18 year old man. The testicular mass weighed 817 grams this is a slightly higher power view of the testis with a nodule of tumour poking into it. This is the H and D of the tumour. So two questions. First of all, what sort of tumour do you think this is? And secondly, judging from the size and appearance of the tumour, how do you think it will behave? Question number six. This is a testicular biopsy from a male of 30 and the biopsy was taken to investigate infertility. So what do you think this testicular biopsy shows and what is the Johnson score? If you're going to look up what the Johnson score is on the internet, as I suspect you will, Note that Johnson is spelt with ending in S-E-N, not S-O-N. Case number seven. This is a testicular mass from an 18-year-old 
What sort of tumour do you think it is? The serum markers beta HCG and AFP were raised. This, together with the age of the patient, is sufficient to give you the correct diagnosis without even looking at the slide. This is a typical field from the H&D and here is a higher power view of the H&D. Case number eight. This is a testicular mass from a 35 year old man. The LDH was raised. You should get a good idea as to what this tumour is simply from the age of the patient and the gross appearance of the tumour that resembles the cut surface of a potato. This is a low power H and D of the testicular tumour. And here is a higher power H and D of the tumour. Note the lymphocytes scattered amongst the tumour cells. Case number nine is from a 47 year old man who had pain after a vasectomy. The epididymis measured 80 by 10 millimetres and this is a section of the epididymis. What is the condition that is causing the pain? Case number 10 is a 1.5 centimetre nodule from a male of 14 with a testicular tumour. The patient also is known to have the FAP gene. This is a higher power view of the tumour. So um, what sort of tumour do you think this is? Case number 11. This is a rather unusual case that we had a few weeks ago. This is the testis from a 33 year old man who was complaining of a lump in his testis. Clinically, this was thought to be a tumour. The markers were negative. The, on gross inspection, there was a brown cut surface. And I think that correlates with the red area towards the left of the picture. Is this a tumour? If not, what do you think it is? And what could have caused it? Case number 12 A 14 year old male was complaining of pain and swelling of his testis. A cyst like structure was excised from the tunica vaginalis. Part of the specimen showed a papillary sort of excrescence, and this is an H and D of the papillary area. On higher power, we can see something that looks like a somoma body. What is this lesion? And is it benign or malignant? Case number 13 is from a man of 45 with a 3 centimetre well circumscribed mass in the testis the cut surface is solid yellow. This is a 
higher power view of the H&D. What sort of tumour do you think it is? Case number 14. This is an H&D section from a testicular mass from a 40-year-old man. The tumour markers were negative. What tumour do you think this is? Here is a higher power view. Case number 15. This section is from the testis of a 75 year old man who found a nodule on his testis. On ultrasound examination it was atypical and therefore removed. The markers are normal. What do you think this relatively common lesion is? Um, there are lots of different names for this particular entity. Case number 16. This picture shows the cut surface of an enlarged testis from a 59 year old man clinically thought to be malignant. The markers are negative. This is the low power H and E of the testicular mass. And here is a higher power view of the lesion. What do you think it is? Case number 17. This is an H&D section of a lump in the testis found at birth in a one day old baby boy. What do you think this tumour is? I'll give you a bit of a clue. There are two types of this tumour. There is a juvenile type and an adult type. Case number 18. This is a section from a crypt orchid testis from a male of 30 and we are zooming into an incidental finding in this crypt orchid testis. What is it? Case number 19. This is a section from a testicular mass from a 10 month old male. What tumour do you think this is? I'll show you a number of different areas of the H and D section because this particular tumour has lots of different patterns. In this area you can see structures that resemble glomeruli. And in this area, the, there are scattered hyaline globules. Case number 20. This is a section from the gonad of a 19 year old female complaining of amenorrhea. What is the condition? Yeah.